Hello, I'm Sean Kent Hayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Schnauzers and sometimes a surprise schnoodle. This video is all about Nellie and her two-week-old puppies. These are schnauzer puppies. This is what two-week-old schnauzer puppies nursing looks like. Today is Friday, August 2nd, and this is Nellie's little chocolate girl. This little girl's name is Skylar, and her mom, her new mom, is Joyce. So Joyce, this is your little girl, and I have you down for Gotcha Day on September 14th. These puppies are eight weeks old on September 13th, and so sometimes new families want their puppies immediately. And I know Joyce has been watching along in my videos. Look at this beautiful little chocolate girl. And I can't help but show you that, of course, mom is right here. Dana is holding mom so that mom can supervise everything that I am doing with her puppies to make sure that we are okay. But Skylar, you're doing great. Look at how pretty you are. And today, Skylar weighs one pound. Deb, this is your little boy. So this is a black and silver little schnauzer puppy going to Deb. He currently weighs one pound today at two weeks old and there is no correlation between his weight today and what he will weigh full grown. Notice his beautiful eyes. And Deb gets to meet her little boy. Deb happens to live very close to me. And Deb has been here several times doing puppy play dates. And she gets to meet her little fella this weekend. According to my notes, this little boy is going through four weeks of our puppy prep school. It's also important that I note whether or not our puppies are having a traditional schnauzer cut or if they are going to be in the teddy bear style so that on gotcha day, we make sure they look like you want them to. This is Nellie's black and silver little girl who is going to John and Jessica in Colorado. Her gotcha day is currently scheduled for November 8th. So she will be attending eight weeks of puppy prep school. Yes, what a pretty girl you are. This is Nellie's black and red little boy. He, you may remember if you've watched the videos, has been the tiny one all along. I wouldn't call him necessarily a runt. Runt implies to me that a dog isn't doing well, might be sick. This little boy is fine. He's just very tiny. I do have someone on my waiting list. You know who you are, you live in Connecticut who is very interested in him, but I have not committed him yet to anyone for a couple of reasons. One, I want to have a better understanding of what size he will actually be. In other words, is he tiny because he's going to be a super tiny adult? Or is he going to catch up with his siblings? It's going to take me several weeks, month maybe, to know that. And then the other thing I want to know for sure is, is that red going to stay red? Is it going to lighten? Is it going to darken? I want to make sure that I'm representing this puppy accurately when I describe what he is. And there's also another thought in my mind. I have a little girl who is also very small 
and I have been looking for a very little boy to be a potential um, puppy maker with her and he might be just right for that. However, I don't know and it's going to take me weeks, weeks, plural, maybe even month or more to figure this out. So I want to do DNA testing on him. I want to understand as much as I can about him before I make any of these decisions. But the person on my waiting list who knows who she is, because we've been talking about this little black and red boy, she and I might have a conversation about co-owning him. We'll have to see. She lives three hours away from me. Three hours is a little too far for me for co-owning a dog in my breeding program. Definitely too far for co-owning a girl in my breeding program, but I just might consider it with a specific number of breedings on a little boy like this. We're just going to have to see how things unfold with him. I don't have all the answers now. Not willing to make any decisions about him right now. Want a lot more information before I do. This is my YouTube channel. And on my channel, I have lots of playlists. Would you please put a comment below about any playlists that you would like us to add to our channel? Your questions help us determine what videos to make next. If you have enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. And we'd love a comment with at least five words. YouTube needs five words in your comment in order for YouTube to count it. Thank you so much.